Hi, this message is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. My name is Diana. You can find me on Instagram at intuitiveD11 underscore 11 here on YouTube, intuitiveD1111. All right, let's go. Let's see what's going on. General energy first, and then we'll get into love. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. What do you guys want you to know? What do you need to know right now? In life. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. All right, we have Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So this is um, this is beautiful. This is about you know believing, believing that what you want to manifest, you know, it's possible, right? And then we have here, we have Sisterhood of the Rose. So beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. So that's the calling for many of you, especially with creating heaven on earth. I mean, that's part of, you know, what you're meant to do because you're meant to teach. You're, most, you're meant to help elevate the consciousness, right? All right, let's get another message here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. We have... Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So if you're going through a period where you were feeling lonely, just know that you are heavily protected. I mean, a lot of you have serious animal guides with you as well, too. Um, some of you all could have, you know, African, you could have Native American ancestry. Um, some of you could have been shapeshifters as well. For some reason, I'm getting that. All right, bottom of the deck, we have men talking. So longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Exactly. So many of you watching this video, you're light workers and you're called to a higher purpose. So that's beautiful energy. Just wants to remind you of that, that whatever you want to create in life, you can do that and that you are supported. So I love that energy for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into love. Let's see. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, let's know. Let's see what comes through here. Mm -mm -mm. All right. And if you do like this video, or I mean, if you do feel led and you like the content of the video, please go ahead and like it for me and subscribe. All right, so let's go ahead and see. So how are you feeling right now? Let's get a card that represents you in love. Well, your cards just want to fly out. <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's see here. I don't think I could zoom in too much. So there's, um, there's someone here that you're wanting a new beginning with or that you're wanting to ground something with. Let's go ahead and see. How is your love interest feeling for you? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. How are they feeling for you? This is some type of soul connection, too, because I'm drawn to the red string that's holding together the different candles down below. How are they feeling for you? All right. Let's go ahead and put this out here. We have the Magician. And the Magician did kind of flip out in reverse, so... I'm not saying that they're necessarily feeling that towards you, but that just could be the energy that they are in. So there's something that they're trying to manifest in their life. Um, I do feel like they're trying to manifest this connection as well. I feel like um, if this, you know, with this being in the reverse, maybe they feel like they can't manifest it yet. Like whatever it is that they're wanting, they can't get this new start off the ground yet. Um, but I'm drawn mainly to the sword, even though he has all the tools. I'm drawn to the sword. It's like they want to come in and they want to speak their truth. Um, let's go ahead and see here. Okay. Can we clarify the magician for your love interest? We have the eight of swords. Yeah, they are, um, <laughs> look at this in the back. It's like there's temptation in the back. Maybe they feel like there's people watching your connection. I feel like they're all in their head, but then they're like, you know, drawn to memories of you. It's like they, um. And there's the sword of truth again. So it's like, I feel like there's something this person has to say to you. And I feel like they're trapped about whether or not to say that. Let's go ahead and clarify this eight, this eight of swords here. Let's clarify this eight of swords. Why is Sagittarius's love interest the eight of swords? 
Yeah, because they want to come and bring you an offer. You know, like we have fruit here. You know, they want to bring you something of substance. They want to bring this into fruition, but they've been taking their time. They see you as very beautiful. Um, but yeah, they have been taking their sweet time with the Knight of Pentacles because they've been trapped all in their head. We have here Gibra, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um and they're frustrated. So this card right here, I mean, it feels like they're burdened, they're frustrated, but also this is a, this is like a card of, um, you know, it's like they have a desire to be with you, to want to please you. You know, they want to offer you something. They're also sexually frustrated. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where they're at right now. So what are they, what's going to happen? What are they going to do about this right now? You know, let's just ask for August right now. What are they going to do about this right now? Okay, we have the lovers. Maybe they have a choice to make. Um, but like, but the, still, the lover's card is a very um, soulful connection. And it's very intimate physical energy and judgment. Okay, they want to bring this thing back around. <laughs> they, want to, um, they want another chance with you. Um, I feel like if they were looking at someone else before, I, I feel like they're they're realizing that they made a mistake. And I feel like they are realizing, look at how, look at the red, the red cord, the red string that's going between them both here. It's like they feel like, you know what, they're being called to make a decision. Like they have to move out of that trapped energy and, you know, judgment. It's like they're having an awakening, awakening to who they actually want to be with. Yeah, because they have love with you here with the King of Cups, right? This is... um. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I just feel like they think that you complete them. And if you wear leg stockings, they really like that. They really love your hair as well. And they love your chest. Okay. So that's kind of the outcome that I see here for you guys. So someone um, finally deciding to make a choice or wanting to come back around and reconcile. All right. Let's get love messages from your person, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does your person want to say to you? And not just what they want to say to you, you know, just messages about your connection, whatever comes through that you need to know. For Sagittarius, it says, my karmic is draining me financially. She wants a bigger place to live, nicer things, and I can't afford it. <laughs> Um, so this is not for everyone. This is for someone. So if they have a karmic, that karmic is bleeding them dry or trying to. Okay. And of course, this is a general reading. So just take, um, this take what resonates. Um, for some of you, you could be connecting with a female that's around, um, like late twenties, I'd say early thirties to about even to 36. All right. For Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are they feeling for you right now? What do they want to let you know? Okay, it says, I dream of you often because I miss you so much. So you are all in this person's headspace. Um, your emotions are overwhelming and I never know what to expect. <laughs> so you're a bag of tricks, Sagittarius. They, they don't quite know what to expect when you come around. You catch them off guard. You make them nervous, too. I'm getting that. You really make them nervous. Let's see. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is your person feeling for you? We have, I have never learned how to be open and vulnerable. So they have, you know, trouble with intimacy. You know, they have trouble with telling you how they feel. Um, let's see. Messages for Sagittarius. We have, it has been too long since I've touched you. So they're really thinking about you. They're trying to, um, they really want to come back around for a lot of you, especially with that judgment card, right? What else? How are they feeling? The Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. You're often in my dreams. I'm telling you, they are really, you guys are really connecting in the dreamscapes. You're really connecting in the 5D. What else? This card comes out 
one more time. Maybe you, maybe I'll take that as, look, the blank card, I'll take it as you leave them speechless. How about that? Maybe you're always saying some off the wall things where they're just like, really? <laughs> but it makes them laugh, right? All right. So how does your love interest feel for you, Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let me get the flyer. Um, right now. Okay. Let's see. It says, I'm tired of suppressing my emotions for you. And for the and the other card was that they could be going through financial difficulties right now as well, too. So that can mainly have their focus. This is the um the initial flyer card. So yeah. And then it says, I've developed feelings for you. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know, right? With that that King of Cups energy. All right, you guys. So um, thank you so much for joining me. Definitely hit the like button if you enjoy my content. If you feel led to subscribe, that'd be great. And yeah, if no one has told you yet today, you are amazing. I love you and you're such a light. Thank you for joining me. Okay, bye.